So we're ready to play hockey and we're off. Uh, Face-off won by Faribault into, into Faribault's zone. Played back behind the net. Winhawks Win with control, centering pass. Handled, but then cleared by the Falcons. Oliver Lindemann gets the puck, skates down, centering pass to his brother, Lucas. Uh, there's a shot on goal. Cleared out to center ice by the Windhawks. Dumped down in the Faribault zone. Picked up by Grady Goodwin, and uh, the battle at the blue line. Offsides. Yeah. Oh, it's a penalty. Hook. And I'm assuming by the reaction of the Windhawk player and where they're headed to, the hook was on the Windhawk. So Faribault will have the one man advantage here as uh, Blake Menard skates on the ice to do a little change up here. Face off handled by Faribault. Jordan Araki shot. Didn't make it to the net. Another shot on goal, saved by the goalie, cleared. Attempted to be kept in by Faribault. Uh, out to center ice, but they get control and head back down into the Winona zone where they grab the puck and try to get it cleared out, which they do. Faribault gets back on sides. Falcon three group. Passed up to Jordan Araki, who gets it, gets it into the zone. Attempts to get it down to Lineman. Sails around the board and down in the corner. Uh, battling for the puck. Kept in the zone. Centering pass slash shot. Goes in front of the net. Rocky's got it all front. Sensing in, look, looking for the rebound. Denied by goalie. Sent back around. Lineman's got it behind the net. Passes out to Nesberg, back down the Lineman, setting something up here. Zach Singer comes in, puck gets away, offsides. He's set up for a face-off just outside the blue line and center ice on the Windhawk side of the ring. Face-off, not really handled by anybody in particular. Now dumped down in the Faribault zone. Grady Goodwin goes down, retrieves it for the Falcons. Brings it up, looks for an open man. Sent over to Pop Brady Pavel, but then cleared back down into the terrible zone by the Windhawks as they go on a penalty kill. There's 21 seconds left in this penalty and this one man advantage for Fairball. Pavel over to Goodwin. Plucked back behind the net where they battle for it. Luke Bernardo is in a battle for that net. Back out to Grady Goodwin. Passed over. Slap shot. Slap shot by Naraki. is deflected all the way up to the ceiling. And we'll have a break. Both teams change up. Back to five on five hockey. Be a face off down in the Winona's zone. Oliver Lindemann. Squares off, controlled by Fable. Sent over to Owen Nesberg, who sends a shot wide of the net. Back over to Nesberg. Down to Keaton Ginter, who sends it behind the net. We got a battle back behind the net. Continue to keep the puck down in the Windhawk end of the ice, which is what Fable would like to do. Puck back out to center ice, handled by Owen Nesberg. As they try to set something up here, get that net. Errant pass, grabbed by the Windhawk, dumped down in so they can do a change of personnel. Fairbull does, does the same thing, dumps it down. It looks like they we're in a, got caught in a change, a long pass down to uh, Winhawk, but uh, for not, Fairbowl recovered quickly. Icing was waved off on that long pass, and the action is fast and furious as a back and forth we go. 
Tanner Yoakum handles puck at center ice, dumps it down into Woonhawk's end. Jake Thompson gets a hold of it. Thompson is battling, they're battling along the board. Uh, got Thompson and Naraki trying to battle for that puck. Now it's back around, Winhawks get a hold of it. Pass it out to center ice. Icing is the call. <laughs> the last time these two teams met, uh, Faribault won at Winona, two to one. The standings in the big nine uh, have Faribault right about dead in the middle at a five and five record, and Winona at two, eight and one. Face off down to Winhawks. Not sure how that will down below, but icing is a call once again, and we'll head back down to the Windhawk end of the ice for another faceoff. 12-29 into the first period, it's 0-0. Fairbill's got four shots on goal. Winona, zero shots on goal at this point. So we got Slinger battling the faceoff for Fairbill. It kind of drifts out of there, Windhawk. Grabs it, skates up, passes. Very nice pass across that right to Win Hockey. Grabs it out of the air with his stick. That was Hans Larson. Very nice catch of that pass. Win Hawks down in the Fairbow end. Sent a shot over the net. Fairbow goes to, to retrieve it. Handled by Nesberg. Now there's a battle between Nesberg and Tim behind the net. Nesberg loses. Lenar loses his stick in the battle. Now Falcons charge, charge out of their zone, get it out to center ice, lose the puck, back to the Windhawks, back down, shot on goal, gloved by the Fairbowl goalie. McLean Weasler, and we'll have a Personnel change out for both teams and a face off down in the Fairbowl end. Face off back to the board, handled by Fairbowl, dumped out to center ice for Winhawks. Defenseman control the puck. Ends up back down on the Winona end as they try to do this with good pressure from Keaton Ginter to get that puck down there. Uh, but now they're Windhawks skated out. Terrible try to move it up. Luke Linneman with the puck. Attempts a centering pass to his brother. Attempts a wraparound shot. Uh, a flurry of action down around the goal. Puck is sent out to defense. Brady Goodwin dumps it back in. And Falcons get a change. Puck is sent down to the Fairbowl end. Icing is the call. So back to the Windhawk end of the, I don't think they call it a rink in hockey. Maybe they had a hockey rink. Down to the Windhawk end of the ice for a face off. We have Jordan Araki. Face off is kicked to center ice. Windhawks skate it down. With Charles chasing, loses the handle. We got one of the Nar boys bringing it up. Can't keep track of it. Centering attempt by number eight from the Windhawks is met with a bunch of Falcons. Uh, and broke up, cleared, but then jumped back in. Puck is cleared out of the Fairbowl zone once again, off the center ice. Meraki tries to get it up to Johnson, who sends it into Winona's zone. Fairbowl a couple nifty little passes. We've got Jack Ziegert. Ziegert getting right down in. Now they battle along the board. I think that's Seegert and Naraki. 
Puck's cleared out to Grady Goodwin, who sends a shot into a bunch of traffic. Ref got tied up there a little bit in all that action, and uh, puck is cleared. And that shot by Zach Ziepert is gloved by the Windhawk goalie. And we'll set up for a faceoff down in Winona's end. Slinger lines up. Face-off control by the Windhawks. Thompson, as they try to clear, terrible centering pass, uh, was right in front of the net and uh, missed by Pavel. And the puck is now sent down to the terrible zone where Goodwin tries to get it off the board, get to one of his teammates where they battle for it. And the puck gets zinged down to the far end. Icing's called, will be Setting up for a face-off down on the Fairwell Falcons end of the rink. Each team trading out some players. We have Oliver Lindemann taking a face-off. Hannah by Nesberg as there's a battle to, by the Windhawks to keep it in the Fairwell zone. Jack Bachman goes over to get it cleared. It is cleared out to center ice. Skated out by Keaton Ginter down into his own zone. And now back out to center ice. A mishandled pass from Jack Bachman. It is called icing and will shift everybody back down to the Fairbowl end for a face off. where Naraki will face off with Kapusman from Winona. Uh, Puck sails right in front of the fair ball goal, but is handled by the Falcons and cleared out, out away from the goal. Now the Falcons will try to get this out of their zone. And out to center ice. Corey Johnson clears it, gets, chases the puck down into the Windhawks zone, back behind the net. So he's back in the battle as the puck kind of floats free from anybody. Ziegert fights for the puck, sends it back down behind the net. Here come the Windhawks. Charging out, we have a three on three. Meraki is able to get a body on the Windhawk 21 Larson. And we got a whistle. And we'll have a face off at center ice. Luke and our lines up at center. Opposite of 28. Use again for the Windhawks. The puck is shot down into the Fairbowl zone where they attempt to clear it. The Windhawks keep it in the zone. Uh, shot not gotten a hold of and sent down in the corner. Puck's out to center ice. That shot easily blocked by a Fairbowl goalie Weasler. There's a battle behind the net. Luke Kennar sends out, now the puck is shot back down high in the air over the goal, out in front of it. And the puck is picked up nicely by Grady Goodwin, who skates it down on that. Shot is deflected, up and over everybody. Puck back down on the board where Nesberg goes down the battle fort. Coming away with the net is the net. So puck is hemp shot. Long shot ahead to Windhawks number six, who Krasinski, who had the shot go wide. Might, goalie might have got a glove on that. I looked up a little late. Then another shot on goal, and it's cleared by Fairball. 
And we have a few switches being made by both teams. We both have both of them and boys are coming in. They try to keep it in the zone. Unable to. Now go back into the Fairbolt in the Windhawk zone. Lindemann loses his stick. Keaton Ginter clears his Winona Windhawk away from that puck. And now they're they battle for it down along the boards. And now shot on goal by the Windhawk from the blue line. Long shot. Nice, nice save. Had a good view of it. Got a stick on it, kick it clear. Zach Bachman battles, gets that puck out, but it's kept in by the Windhawks. Bachman back on it, sends it. And the Fairbowl, and the Falcons clear. Windhawks send a shot from the red line. Center is tipped by a Fairbowl player in the air, but the but Mr. Ginter had plenty of time to see that coming and was able to stop that shot easily and they'll have a face off on the Fairbowl end where Naraki will line up against Kufusman. Face off handled by the Falcons, sent behind the net to Ziekert, who's passed to the head into Winona's end. Must have an icing. I didn't see that down below us. Kind of have a little bit of a blind spot here, but we are all heading back down to the Fairbowl end for a face-off, so that would make sense. So the Rocky posts up in, and we have a face-off which is handled by the Windhawks, uh, who are unable to keep it in their zone as they all get on sides and back off to play. The battle for the puck at center ice between me. Mott's. Uh, Fairwell is able to clear that puck down into the you know, Zach Zeeker. was the last one I saw with the puck. I did not see how it got into the net, but we'll find out here real shortly. Who, uh, scored that goal for the Falcons at 4.15. The first period, we have our first goal. Naraki gets the credit for that goal. Not that he shouldn't, I just didn't see it. All right, Luke Bernard takes a face off. It's sent down in the terrible end. So, puck down in the Fairbowl zone, where Luke Menard battles with it. Windhawks keep it down in the zone, send it back down behind the net, where Blake Menard goes to battle for it. And skating out with it is Luke Menard, who brings it into the Windhawk end, and his shot is off of a Windhawk stick and sent up into the net, so we'll have a face-off on the Windhex, Windhawk side of the ice here as we get a personnel change. Looks like we'll have Lineman facing off against Ellenberg for the Windhawks. Windhawks control that face-off and attempt to get this puck out of their end. They're at, since out the middle ice, and a shot is gloved by Weasler. He makes that look easy, and I'm sure it wasn't, because that guy wasn't that far away, and he zinged that puck at him, but he just grabbed it like it was a line drive to the outfield from 100 feet away. Face-off handled by the Wayne Hawks, who send the puck skirting around the board. Looks like we're going to have a penalty on Fairbowl. And we'll wait to see what the refs have. It looks like, looks like Mr. Lineman's headed for the box. A cross check, I believe, is interference. So now Winhawk with the man advantage and facing off in the Fairbowl end. 
shot and they can throw that face off. Shot goes wide. Shot by Olsen. Got a wide, wide open look at it, but uh, shot went wide and Fairbo clear that puck all the way down to the other end where Winhawk goalie McDivitt stops the puck. Now we got a little bit of a face off going on between two players. Corey Johnson kept the Winhawk pinned behind the net. A uh, wraparound attempt by the Winhawks is denied. We have a whole lot of sticks and skates in front of that net, and the puck has been cleared out to center ice. Winhawk defense try to control that puck. While Luke, Luke Benar skates around and puts pressure on both of them. Winhawks now slow things down a little bit, control the puck, set up their power play. And a hot shot from way out by the blue line from Olsen is deflected by Weasler off of his pad up into the net. So uh, we get another puck and we get everybody reset up for a face off and the terrible end. We have Lineman facing off against Cone Bush. Terrible handles that. Sends it all the way back down into the Windhawk end, uh, where their goalie stops it, gets it passed off to one of their players. As Brody Pavel goes down and puts some pressure on him, and along with Lineman, they're making them worth it. We got 20 seconds left in the man advantage for the Windhawks. Terrible done a pretty good job of penalty killing, just a, a couple shots. There's a, there's a shot off of Nesberg's pad, and the puck is now cleared. Linneman heads down to the Windhawks end with his brother chasing him. Puck is kept in uh, for a moment, and then it's sent back out, but now back in. We're back to full strength hockey. Mr. Linneman comes out of that with a little bit of a chip on his shoulder and something to prove, well rested and ready to go. And he was all over the place there as soon as he got out of that box. Windhawk controlled the puck at the blue line. Uh, puck goes across a couple lines there uh, with no one touching it, but now they're battling down in the Fairbowl end. A couple Windhawks uh, battling with the Seagirt. Now, strong pass out across the red line to Ginter, who then Tips it back over to Deech. He gets it down into the Windhawk end. The shot goes a little wide by Deech in front of the net. Maybe more of a centering pass. That's probably what he would tell us. So on the shot, it was a centering pass. Windhawk goalie get that puck away from that goal as they battle on the board. And that's the buzzer for the first period in this very action-packed boys' varsity hockey game between the Faribault Falcons and the Winona Windhawks. Okay, here we are ready for the start of the second period here at the Faribault Ice Arena in your matchup between the Faribault Falcons and the Winona Windhawks. Come out swinging, Grady Goodwin sends the puck down into the Windhawk and goes chasing down after it. Lucas Slinneman goes after, clears out, but now it's been cleared by the Windhawks. Roost in and down into the Fairwell end. Uh, centering pass, uh, sails clear of all. Icing is called off as the Windhawks go back and gain control of the puck. And attempt to clear the puck. Uh, was offside, but it's been changed. They call them all off, and then the puck is sailed into the fair end. For an offside. We have an icing call, and we're headed back down to the Windhawks end of the ice for a face-off. Between Naraki 
and Ellen Bird. Handled by, controlled by Naraki. Shot by Seeker was off a defenseman or off a Windhawk player and never made it to goal. And now we battle down, or, down below with Johnson, trying to get that, control that puck. To keep the puck down behind the net. Now it's cleared out as Corey Johnson continues the battle on the boards. Gets that puck out to Nesberg, who sends a shot on goal. That puck is dumped off of the, hit the ref skate and bounced right back. Fairball continues to battle. And the Windhawks control the puck and send it down into the Fairball zone where Zekert once again gets it. There's a shot on goal. There's Weasler. Pumps it free with his knee and gets that out of there. Back out to center ice as Naraki picks up the puck, dumps it down, actually on goal. Gloved by McDevitt. And he drops it and hands it off to one of his Windhawk teammates as they send it down, back down into the fair bowl end. Puck is lobbed up in the air, knocked down by Windhawk. That shot on goal is loved by Weasler. And we'll have a face-off. Down in the Falcon zone. It's like the Windhawks came out with a little extra juice and are keeping Fairbowl on their heels here a little bit to hopefully they can uh, get that all under control. Back to being a little more dominant than they were in the first quarter, even the uh, first period, even though the shots on goal are 10 for the Windhawks and 7 for Fairball. There's another shot by the Windhawks on goal, easily, like nonchalantly, just blocked by Weasler, no big deal, and they battle back behind the net where Luke Bernard grabs that. Passes it out. Slinger skates it all the way down. And takes a very nice shot as he was tripped up and out of, not out of control, but flying through there and able to get that puck into the net. So that was, wow, that was a, quite an effort there by Mr. Slinger going from one end of the ice, the other really fast and pretty much past everybody. And at 13.52 in the second period, it's 2 nothing. Fairbowl Falcons. Face off is sent down into the Fairbowl zone. And is now cleared back out by Lineman. Picked back up by, and a shot on goal. But no one there for the rebound for the Windhawks. They battle for the puck. Blake Benar ties up with the Windhawk defenseman. There's a centering pass down low that's unable to be handled. And there goes part of the stick. I think it was longer than that last time I saw it. And now it's laying in the ice as a Lindemann clears and he makes a shot out in front of the goal that is gloved by McDivitt. And we'll have a change up, we'll get the lumber off the ice, and we'll have a face off in the fair blend. So it looks like we got Naraki and Frozen Bush. Frozen Bush. Crone Bush facing off. That face off's handled by the Windhawks. Sent behind the net. Tried to clear it that center of the ice. Broke up by Naraki as they battle for it. The puck and the shot by Grady Goodwin from the point is uh, deflected off a Windhawk stick up into the net. So we'll have a stoppage while we 
set up for another face-off between the same two individuals as last time, Rocky and Columbo. Fairable handles this, this face-off and is jumped down to Rocky as they battle on the boards down, down low and is sent over to Larson who clears it. Fairable is Goodwin gets a handle on, dumps it, pass not on target. Puck goes off the board, pushed away by Weasler, back to one of the Falcons, and they clear the zone. Right back in the zone they go as uh, Larson takes a shot. They battle for the puck that's behind her, and Rocky comes out with it. Ooh. Pushes it off the board, but is unable to clear. And Tanner Yoakum clears it. Seeker tries to get around and get that puck, uh, but now we have a stoppage of play as the puck goes up into the net, out of play. The standings in the big nine uh, have the Mankato West as number one in Fairbowl played Mankato West here last Tuesday the 23rd and they tied so they're coming off a, a, a big game there tying the number one in the conference. So lots of confidence and skating like it playing a very physical game here and uh, having the advantage even though shots on goal are 10 to 3 in favor of the Windhawks. The 2 nothing where it really counts. Battle for the puck down low by Slinger. And you could say wins that battle. And Pablo comes out of there. Puck sends a shot on goal. Block saved by McDivitt. Ball can control the puck. Jack Bachman takes a shot that is blocked by a, by a Windhawk, but he was able to clear it. But right back to the goal. Can't hardly keep up with these guys as fast as they fast as you say the puck's on one end, it's on the other end. Now we're waiting for some fans over there and the rest to try to get this puck out of the net over here. And he's, he's obviously a hockey player, not a basketball player. So Stripes has got the puck, we're ready for a faceoff. I believe that's Miniman. I can't see his number. Yep, and he controls the face off. Dumps it down. His brother goes down. Lucas for the puck against the board behind the Windhawks net. And now Keaton Ginter in the battle. And now that puck is airborne over everybody and is icing as the Weezer goes and stops that puck from flying around the boards and the referee skates it back down for a face-off and then hop in. Miniman lines up against Ruse again. Windhawks try to control the puck down in, or do control the puck down in their zone, and then now they clear it. Keaton Ginter knocks the Windhawk off the puck and is able to uh, Get that puck in Fairbowl's on a Fairbowl stick and control. Oliver Lindman goes skating in in a tied up battle. He's not able to get a good shot. We have a Icing is waved on that long, which would have been a pass, but the stick was lifted and nobody touched it. But Windhawks go down and grab that puck, and now they're going to work it ahead out to the red line. And we have puck down in the Fairbowl zone. Hannah Hilton tries to drive the Windhawk off the puck, uh, unable to do that. Slap shot sent from the blue line and is gloved by Weasler. Very nicely, as that puck is really moving with that, oh, the, quite a slap shot, that thing was humming. 
So we have another face off down in the Fairbowl end. Luke and our lines up against his opponent, Larson. Pucks against the board with a little battle down. They try to keep that in. Windhoff were able to keep it in their zone. Uh, shot was wide. Now we're in a battle for the puck down low. The Windhoff are keeping that puck down in the fairable zone. And now we have a little, bit, a little bit of a break by Slinger, who's intercepted by a couple of Windhoffs. But... Oh, there's a shot that I thought it was going to bounce in, but it bounced over the net. But that was a quick change of events from the Windhawks keeping the puck down in the fairable zone to a scoring opportunity within a matter of seconds. So, so Pavel's down pressuring a couple of the Windhawks and uh, not letting them just clear that puck out of their zone as easily as they would like to. And now Grady Goodwin goes back for the Falcons to pick up that puck as they, as they change. He dumps it down as if some changes are made. Try to catch the Windhawks off guard. Uh, but everybody was changing, so all is well. Very nice play by Bachman to keep that puck that was scooting along the boards in the Windhawk zone as Oliver Lindemann battles down low to try to get the pass that goes to his brother Lucas and now it's centered in a win. Windhawk. Mox skates that puck all the way down. A nice save by Weasler who had a, a basically one-on-one -on -one and he won that battle. Back to center ice. Lucas Lindemann knocks the Windhawk off the puck and we play a little bit of center ice hockey here while no one gets it in his own. Once again, Lucas uh, Lindemann fights. I gotta quit using their first name. I just know some of these kids. Uh, we got a scrum, we got a scrum. Uh, we got people on the ice down low and a couple shots by the Falcons. Uh, and it is covered by McDivitt. Uh, everybody takes a second. Now we regroup and we'll change out some players and we'll have a face-off face -off down in the Windhawk wind end of the ring. Naraki and Ruzin will face off. And that face-off is handled by Number three for the Wind Hawks, and I can't say his name, so I'm not even going to try. I just mess it up. Blake Pinar battles over on the fairway side to keep it down in the Wind Hawk zone, but out of there comes number 28, Ruse Jin, uh, into the fairway end. It's cleared back out, and now it's back down into the fairway end. Blake Pinar goes and grabs it. So, he gets hit, pushed into the boards. There's a centering pass and or shot that sails right in front of the fairway net. Uh, clear down into the Windhawk zone, just like that. Corey Johnson goes and gets it out of the corner, sends it to Rocky behind the net, sets up Blake Benar for a nice shot, goes wide of the net. And back out of the zone to center ice. And here comes Zeker with the puck. Dancing around from center ice, gets down in there, takes a shot that goes wide. But stays down in the, uh, the Windhawk zone. Number nine lines up. That's Darby Deach for a hot shot that goes off a Windhawk player. Uh, he had to feel that, that hit him. Hit him square, I think it hit a pad, but still that was a hot shot. The battle for the puck at center ice. Grady Goodman comes out of there with that, takes a shot. Pavel chases around the Windhawk behind the net, and it's back out controlled by Goodman, who passes it forward up to Luke Benar, who is unable to get a stick on it, and we have icing 
So I'll skate back down to the fair bowl zone for a face off. With five minutes and one second left in the second period, uh, shots on goal have evened out a little bit. It's still Windhawks up by one with 16 and fair bowl with 15. Face off handled by the Windhawks. The shot is off the defender. Another shot goes wide. I think it sounded like it was tipped. I'm not sure by who. So the battle for it down in the corner, there's another shot that is deflected, but then defended by Weasler. And now we have a breakaway one-on-one. -on -one. And the slinger was caught up to and foiled his attempt at that shot. Now Faribault's trying to get it, keep it out of their zone. Tanner Yoakum does battle, and now Owen Hesberg's down in there with a wind hawk to try to keep that puck from getting in front of the net like it is right now. But once again, Owen Hesberg handles that, kicks it out, out to the point. Wind hawks keep it in the zone. A centering pass, almost deflected off of a falcon into what was close to the net, but not into the net. And now we have a long shot. Clearing down, no icing because it was sent right to the goalie who has to stop it. Terrible makes a change, keeps it in the Windhawk zone. As Lucas aggressively goes after that net, uh, gets knocked down, but right back up as quick as he went down, and now he's got the puck and he's trying to get it centered. Now here comes the Windhawks. Superman. I heard a whistle, not sure what happened. Puck, puck falls off sides. Okay. So it looks like we're gonna have a face off just out of the fair bowl zone. Now we got a change and face off is handled by the Win Hawks, but back to Fairbowl. And Win Hawks jump it down in to the Fairbowl end. So they battle to keep it in their zone. Looks like it must have been another offsides. Uh, down in a part where we really can't see from up here very well, so we have to kind of without guessing, make a, an assumption of what happened until we're told, but offsides and handled that face off handled by the Falcons, but uh, a, a shot or a pass went wide and unable to be handled by anybody. It's icing, so back down to the Faribault zone for another face off. Bunch of the Falcons go by and congratulate their goalie on keeping all 17 of those shots out of that net. And now we have a face-off that is clear down in the Faribault zone. And Deeker blows by everybody to get a hold of that net, but then he or get a hold of that that he was unable to. Uh, redirect by Zeker was nicely done, but off the pad of the goalies and not in, but a couple of scoring opportunities there that were close, but that's hockey. Here come the Windhawks down in. Uh, he takes it. Windhawk takes a shot. That goes off of Bachman and he never makes it to the goal. Here we come back out to center ice. Uh, it's dumped back in by the Windhawks and Weezer stops that puck so it can be passed forward. Oh, and now we have a now we have a penalty on the Windhawks. And I believe on 28 of the Windhawks, that would be Aiden Ruzgin. Not sure to call that an elbow or check. Uh, something from behind, that's what I did see, so can't do that. So he'll get two minute rest in the penalty box and the Faribault will come out with a man advantage and a face off down in the Winona end. Face off is handled by Faribault. Passed, passed across down to Pavel, down to 
Venar down low. Back out to Grady Goodwin from the point, sends it back down to Venar, who sends a centering pass and is kicked free and sent all the way down the ice where Weezer will go out and get it, leave it there for Goodwin to take back down. Oh, sorry, the penalty was on 26, Quinn Larson. So with 123 left in that penalty, the Falcons keep the puck down on the Windhawks side of the rink and they set up looking for an open shot. Grady Goodwin takes the open shot from the point that is knocked down and sent clear. Goodwin goes back for the puck, his pass is unable to be handled. And we're set back up, we're back to center ice. Long passes across ice from Meraki. Uh, we have a change. And there goes the puck back down the Weasler as they do a pretty good job of the penalty kill so far. Uh, we have about a nine second difference between the penalty clock and the period time left in the period. So we have Faribault has another 28 seconds to try to capitalize on this one man advantage. So we have a little charge down low and the errant pass as Luke and our have to deal with two. And we have penalty is now we're back to full strength hockey with seven seconds left in the second period. And they're battling for the puck right down underneath us, but I can't see. That puck has jumped down in the end, and that is the end of the second period. And we have shots on goal, 18 to 18. Okay, here we go for the third period of the Fairwell Falcons versus the Winona Windhawks varsity boys hockey. We've got a little bit of a sheen on the ice where they waited a little bit for it to freeze, but uh, here we go. So, puck dumped down in to the Windhawk end. Lineman, both Lineman boys down low. Puck is kicked out, kicked back into the zone. As soon as it was kicked out, now it's at center ice. Lineman picks up the puck there, skates into the Windhawk zone, and Puck is just back and forth at center ice. We're not spending much time. And there's a shot in the goal. Not sure who did that, but that was kind of caught everybody off guard as he. I think that was uh, Oliver Lindemann. Uh, kind of caught everybody off guard and sent a shot to the back of the net. And at less than a minute into the third period, the Falcons. Score goal number three to lead the Windhawks, 3-0. Luke Menard lines up for the faceoff, and it is controlled by Fairbowl, sent to center ice. Now the puck now sent. So the puck sent at the goal, and easily deflected by Weasler, who's having a very good game, he's gotten plenty of shots at him, but he stopped every one of them, and I hate to say it all out and knock on wood that he keeps that up. I don't want to jinx him. Puck sent down to the Windhawk end, and the Windhawk defenseman grabs that puck and tries to get it out of there as the Falcons do their best to keep it down in there, which they do a very good job. Back out to the point where Goodwin sends one at the goalie who makes the stop. Yoakum keeps it in with a little catch and drop. Sends it down in, back. Goodwin battles over on the board. And now they send it down, be the Falcons send it down behind the net and they make a change. Puck is shot down into the Fairwell end where Yoakum goes and retrieves it. Windhawks make a big change and they all come down in force and send the puck back down into the fairball end where Goodwin goes and chases it down. 
sends it out to Johnson, uh, who is then able to get it cleared out. Winhawks attempt to make a pass that clears everybody across a couple lines, but it must have been tipped, no icing. And we have an offside. So we line up just outside of the Faribault zone. And Zach Ziekert gives the ref a little tap with the stick as he had ran into him over there. And I'm sure it was a little uh, sorry about that. And now back to hockey. Face off. It's taken down and Lindman chases it back down. Both Lindman boys are down. Try to keep that in the zone, but it's cleared by the Windhawks and heads back down in the Faribault zone where centering pass. Goes kind of floats out in front of there. Uh, no one there to send it into the net. And here comes Lindemann with the puck back down into the Windhawk zone. The battle down in the corner for the puck. And that puck is then sent out to a box and he sends a shot. Faults and, and then we have a, that's a different kind of celebration than you typically would see, but uh, that's like a peewee hockey celebration, right, where, where they all tip over, but you know, they're all still kids, so good for them. As long as they're having fun, lots of smiles. I'm um, going to assume that Lucas Lindemann scored that possibly, he was leading that. We're trying to figure that out right now, who assisted who. So at the 14 minute mark of the third period, the Falcons take a 4 0 lead and, and also an advantage on the shots on goal, 23 to 18. Yes, so Lucas Lindemann is the one person who got that goal. That's verified by our scorekeepers. I heard Bachman name in there as an assist. And he did have the puck uh, bouncing down in there prior. Now we got the puck being handled and sent down into the Windhawk end. It's stopped by their McDivitt, their goalie, and hands it off to one of their players. And now the puck goes sailing back around where Blake Menard goes over to keep it in the terrible zone. Dump back, little dump pass to Naraki, who sends his centering pass, uh, and it was broken up in the middle by the Windhawks. There goes the puck way in the air, off shot by Ziekert off of a Windhawks angled stick, I can assume. It sent that puck all the way up to the ceiling. And they make some changes, and we head down to the Windhawks zone for a face-off where Naraki will face off against I think that's number 12 Ellenberg. Face-off handled by the Windhawks and here they come. Oh we have a whistle and we have a Falcon down behind the net and the net off. And the Falcon he's a little that's Naraki he's a little slow to get up. I'm not sure what happened there as we were watching the puck come across center ice. So, I don't see any penalties called. We have five for each team out there, so I guess we're just gonna face off down there. And then face off. That is handled, kind of, and it bounces out to center ice as Tanner Yoakum fights with a Windhawk to handle that puck. Uh, that Windhawk is knocked off that puck, but they control it and keep that down in the Keep that puck down in the turbo end. We'll have a little battle on the ice. Number 23 goes on to grab that Kitzman. Or that 13, sorry. Yeah, that would be uh, Bush. And the Windhawks are able to do nifty work by Mox to keep that down in the Fairball end. But now the Fairball controls the puck. And off and running, skating, goes Ziekert. Like a streak down to the Windhawk end. There's a big hit down in the corner. Uh, just by the sounds of it, it's down in kind of our blind spot, but didn't sound like it felt good at all. Lineman over to 
Vinar, who skates it up the board into the Windhawk zone. Fairbill makes some switches. But here come the Windhawks with a hard pass over to number 11, Burke, who was unable to handle that. That pass was really moving. Here comes Brody Pavel, uh, streaking down the ice with the puck. Sends a centering pass in front of the net. No one there to do anything with it. And now they keep the attempt to battle to keep that puck in. I think that might have hit the ref or hit someone that stayed in there. Stayed in the Windhawk zone, I should say. And now we have a battle behind the net with Luke Benar and, and Windhawk. Puck is passed up as the Windhawk cleared out of their zone and they're right underneath us battling for it. And I see Fairbill come free with that. Passes out to Bodhi Pavel at center ice. And all they battle on the boards with the Slinger sending it over to Ginter. That pass quickly up to Zach Slinger who dumps it in and goes for a switch. Needs a little break. And we have some new Falcons on the ice. That didn't sound good. It was right underneath us. I even felt the floor move on that one. I'm not sure who hit who, but uh, they're all still skating, so it's good to be young and in shape and used to this stuff. And battle back behind the ice, uh, behind the net with uh, Owen Esberg and a couple Windhawks. Uh, Lineman tries to get that thing out of their zone, but is unable to do that. And now we have a penalty coming on the Windhawks for a trip, I believe is what that is. And or boarding. So game is getting more physical as it goes. No slowing down. It was tripping. Okay, so the, the tripping is the penalty on number 17 of the Windhawks. That would be Aiden Cronebush. So at 9.48, Falcons will have a, or the third period, will have a one-man advantage. A hot shot by Naraki goes off of one of his players and almost deflects right in. I hope that hit a pad, because that thing was moving. Again, back out to Naraki for another shot. That's stopped by uh, Windhawk, and is cleared down the ice where Grady Goodwin goes to get it and comes skating up around a couple Windhawks, and heading for the net is Goodwin dumps it back to Oliver Lineman, who sends it, shot towards the net. It's deflected in the air. Windhawks clear it back down. Goodwin goes down and takes the puck from his goalie. So they can head back down and try to take advantage of this one-man advantage. And back into the Windhawks end, go the Falcons. As Oliver Lineman fights with it, leaves the puck there for Naraki, who battles with the Windhawk for control. The Windhawk are able to clear the puck out of the zone. Blake Venara goes and retreats and gets it and sends it back down in. Keep that puck down in. We have 48, 45 seconds left on the main advantage for the Falcons. We're keeping good pressure, keeping that puck down on the correct side of the ice for them anyway. Pavel sends a hot shot that bounces off somebody. Uh, and then Windhawk clears that puck all the way back down. Weezer comes out of the goal, sends it up to one of his players so they can get it right back down here. As we're down to 20 seconds and the one man advantage. That puck sent over to Naraki who dumps it down to Pavel who gets hit hard against the board but back up he comes. And now we have a, a switch out. Slinger is down, down the deep. Pavel goes and gets the puck. Dumps it back down, and we're at full strength hockey. There's a shot. Oh, I think that was a, off of one of their own players, but the goalie stops it, and it's back out to center ice. Puck sent back down, but grabbed by one of the Windhawks, who skates all the way back down and gets a shot on goal. Nice stop by Weasler. And now we have a battle with Pavel. A centering pass, oh, it goes off of uh, Blake Menard's skate, not into the net, but uh, one of those that could be your own, help your own goal. 
Ball can skate it back down. I remember that was Slinger getting it back down in there, sends a centering pass out, no one, no one there to do anything with it. Paul can attempt to keep that in their zone, and not attempt, they are. That pass out to Grady Goodwin, who lines up. His pass is knocked down, or his shot is knocked down. Took all the power out of his stick by a windhawk, and now we have a change. We have Lucas Lindemann comes skating back in. Here comes a puck back to, well, it was coming back to center ice, and now it got sent back down behind the windhawk net down in the zone. Falcons are doing a good job of keeping the pressure and keeping the puck down in the, on the other end of the ice. And we have an icing. So we'll head back down to the wind hawks end. That was very nice of Mr. Jack Bachman to bend over and pick up that puck for the ref. That'll, that'll help if he needs it. So we line up for a faceoff. 6.25 left in the Third period with the Falcons leading four to nothing. And as we played a lot of hockey and the Windhawk end of the rink this third period, even though the, the, it seemed like the early on the energy was all for the Windhawks, the Falcons somehow have come across with and equaled that intensity. There Oliver Lindman sends a shot uh, easily stopped by the goalie, but you gotta still send that shot and get the rebound and you never know what could happen. Here come the Windhawks out to center ice with the puck. Uh, and he sends that puck right into the Falcons bench. They all have their helmets on and they all got out of the way, but just kind of chuckling down there and a couple people almost got involved in that play while they're on the bench. Rocky lines up for the faceoff at center ice and it was handled by Grady Goodwin over to Owen Nesberg, who sends it down to Rocky, who sends a shot. Yeah, looked to be on net, might have been just past it, but the goalie covers it up just in case. So we'll have another faceoff down to the right of Devitt, down in the Windhawk. Nick Devitt, down in the Windhawk zone. Battle for the puck down against the boards. And there's another shot that is covered by McDivitt. Uh, so the Falcons are starting to starting to leave the Windhawks behind a little bit in the shot on goal. Keeping. So now we have another face off here by Meraki. And Rusin the battle down on the boards to keep that puck down in the Windhawks end. The puck goes in behind the goal, goal tender and skating all the way around with it and continue to skate it to the full circle of Zeker. Uh, sends, a, sends a puck sailing from the net and now it's handled by the Windhawks who come to center ice with a, a little bit of a breakaway here with a two on two and a very nice save as the two on two pass goes across and the goalie has to make an adjustment over to his left side to grab that. That last save is by one of the goalie, Alex Benson, with his 2,500 career save. Oh, and a very nice gesture. The Winona goalie, 2,500 save. So they have a little stoppage to play and a couple of uh, terrible players go down. That's uh, Zach Ziekert and Jordan Rocky go down and congratulate them for stopping that. I'm, sh I'm sure that's not what they're thinking, but that was, uh, that was a very nice gesture. So now I have a, a face off down in the fairball end. And that is handled by the Falcons and sent Zeker sent over to Slinger. Back out to center ice as Pavel goes chasing it down. Tries to get it over to Vinar, unable to because a couple of wind hawks weren't gonna have it. So Four minutes, 20 seconds left in the third period. It's four nothing, Fairbow Falcons. 
as they keep are able to keep that puck down in the Winhawk zone. And as soon as I say that, out it comes. So backhand pass from Owen Nesberg to center ice is then set down. Oh, not, very nice pass on able to be handled down in low by Slinger. Uh, there's a scoring opportunity there. And another shot from the point, I believe, by Nesberg that is gloved by McDivitt. Makes the shots on goal, 28 for Fairball, 20 for the Windhawks. So Walton's post, coasting down, uh, Oliver Lindman coasts down for the faceoff down in the Windhawks end. That is controlled by the Windhawks. And as they try to clear this puck out of their zone, they battle on the boards and it's sent over to Oliver Lindman in the middle. Of, uh, a shot sent down low by Jack Bachman, looking for the, the tip. It was missed, and puck went to the boards wide of the goal. They're fighting back behind the net, not fighting, but fighting for the puck, and it stays back and forth as the Windhawks try to find a way to get this puck out of their zone. And here they come with a long pass up to number 19 Larson, who takes a Takes it down in. Now they battle over on the board. Uh, Nesberg loses his stick, but he uses his body to try to uh, put a little leverage and make it harder for the Windhawk to get control of that puck. Lineman, Oliver Lineman tries to send a pass, or does send a pass up to his brother Lucas, but is off the mark a little bit and it sails wide and is called icing as it ends all the way up down on the other end. So we'll bring it down to the Fairbowl end for a face-off. Jordan Araki will line up against Burke for the face-off and that is, that is handled by the Windhawks and a couple people, not sure what happened, but a couple players went flying onto the ice. Uh, but they're all back up now. And a shot is taken by the Windhawks, is saved by Weasler, and no one there for the rebound. Another shot is saved by Weasler, and that one rebound didn't go straight back out. Skipped over to the side, off the board, and now handled, sent up to Ziekert, who skates it down into the Windhawks end, looking for someone open, sends a shot. Arm saved by the Goalie McDivitt sends it over the net, and here come the Windhawks back with it. We have a, a three on one uh, advantage. Terrible. So the Windhawks is knocked off that puck by Tanner Yoakum, and they battle on the board to try to get control of that puck. And Yoakum comes out with that puck, sends it to center ice, which is then controlled by Windhawk. 44, Thompson who dumps it back and now they skate it back around. And here comes Naraki from behind the net. He passes up to his teammate and Zach Zeker takes off flying down the net. They're poking away down there, down low. I see no indication. I see uh, Falcon gets knocked down. I do believe the goalie just covered up the puck and there it lays, no goal. We will go try to sort out what went on, make sure the net's on. And what do we got going on? We got a couple we have. We have someone going to the penalty box. Or not. Did he not? I thought he went in the penalty box. Yep. Number 40 in the penalty box. I haven't seen an indication of why, but number Jake James from the Windhawks is in is a two-minute penalty. It might have had something to do with that Fairbow Falcon who went flying back on his back when they were all standing around the, the goal who are looking for the puck. I'm assuming that was not okay to do that. Face off. Yes, so the penalty is Two minutes for roughing. Uh, that would probably be from knocking down that other player. 
while they were standing there. One minute left in the third period. It's four nothing the Falcons. It looks like they're going to uh, take this one. It's not over yet, but not a lot of time left. The Windhawks have not given up. They just sent a shot wide. Uh, now we have the Falcons with the puck down in the Windhawks. And there's some nifty moves there by Zach Slinger to weave through some traffic, but not unable to get a shot off. Now they battle for it behind the net. 25 seconds left to go in this game. A bouncing puck comes out with a kick save or a kick stop by Owen Nesberg to keep the puck in. He takes a shot at the goal. He sends it over. First shot sent went. The first shot went over the net. It had bounced off the glass, came back in front of the goal, and Ginter was able to poke it into the net for the fifth goal of the game for the Falcons. So with 12 seconds left in the game, uh, the Falcons take a 5-0 lead. So they face off for the last 10 seconds. The puck's sent down into the Windhawk end where the goalie stops it, drops it off to one of his players, and that is the game. So the game ends with the Falcons beating the Winona Windhawks five to nothing, and also leading and winning the shots on goal, 32 to 23.